Okay guys, welcome to this video looking at multiplying and dividing integers. So integers being whole numbers. So multiply and divide whole numbers. So a two digit number with a one digit number. Okay, dividing a two digit number with a one digit number. So on and so forth. Okay, this video was recorded and filmed on Tuesday the 5th of September 2023. And is a functional skills level 1 slash 2. Okay, lesson observation. Okay, so let's get straight into it. Okay, so kicking off the um, first summary system, multiplying integers. Let's say I want to work out 14 times 7. How would I approach this? Well, there's multiple different ways to work it out, but I'm going to partition the numbers. So 14 is the same as saying 10 plus 4. Okay, oops, sorry about that. So 10 plus 4 is 14 guys okay, we're all happy with that so 14 times 7 is the same as doing 10 times 7 okay and 4 times 7 okay we're all in, in agreement with that statement there okay times 7 so 10 lots of 7, 10 sevens are going to be 70, 4 sevens are going to be 28. So 70 plus 28, so working this out, okay, sorry about my, sorry about my handwriting guys, okay, gives us 98. So that would be my answer to that question. So 14 times 7 gives you 98, okay. Of course I can do it the traditional way, which is just do 14 times 7 okay doing short or long multiplication it will give us the exact same answer okay 4 7s are 28 so 8 carry the 2 7 1s are going to be 7 plus the 2 is going to be 9 so that's another way of doing it okay so that would also work as well okay this next one work out 12 times 8 so let's say i want to work out 12 times 8 how would i approach this problem very similar way okay so i can do 10 times 8 plus 2 times 8 i am partitioning the numbers i'm doing the tens unit times the unit plus the unit times the unit and adding them together sorry not not times them together adding them together sorry should be an add there guys i do apologize okay sorry about my handwriting as well not exactly on point, but hopefully you can forgive me. Okay, 10 eights are going to be 80. 2 eights are going to be 16. 80 plus 16 gives us 96, guys. So the answer will be 96. Okay. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Here, here are some questions guys so pause the video try these questions and then come back and press play and check your answer or answers along with me okay so answers for these so i won't do this this year in the same order actually so i'll start with question three first six times ten hopefully we should know that that's that's equal to 60 okay nine sixes are going to equal to 54 okay 16 times 3, well, 10 times 3 is going to be 30, plus 6 times 3 is going to be 18. 30 plus 18 gives you 48. 14 times 5, now there's a little trick here actually, guys, is I can do 14 times 10, which is 140, and then half my answer. Half of 140 is equal to 70. So I'm always looking for little loopholes to work out my answer. Of course, I can just do 10 times 5, 4 times 5, and then add my answers together. That would also work. Okay, this one here, 4 lots of 18, well double 18 is going to be 36, and then double 36 is going to be 72. Okay, timesing by 4 is the same as doubling it, and then doubling it again, because 4 is 2 times 2. This one is a bit more trickier, if I double it, double it, and then double it, so I triple 2. So double 15 is going to be 30, double it again is going to be 60, double it again is going to be 120. Okay. So that'd be my answer for that. Okay, of course, please do obviously use the all yeah the other method here to obviously work it out by partitioning the numbers and obviously adding it together. Okay, but obviously worked out quite quickly there. Okay, hopefully yeah that makes sense. Okay, sorry for going a bit quick there, guys. 
I hope it makes sense. Okay, so for the first one, you would do 10 times 3 plus 6 times 3 and then add your answers together. For the second one, you do 10 times 5, which is going to be 50. 4 times 5, 5 which is going to be 20. 50 plus 20 gives you 70. Okay, question 4, you do 4 times 10, which is going to be 40. 4 times 8, which is 32. 40 plus 32 gives you 72. And then for question 6, guys, 15 times 8, 10 times 8 is 80. 5 times 8 is going to be 40. 80 plus 40 gives you 120. There's the answers for these, okay, which will be an equal sign then, okay? Okay, so division of numbers, guys. Let's say I want to work out the following. 24 divided by 2. The line needs division. How would I do this? Well, there's multiple different ways to obviously work this out, okay? What it's saying is, is how many 2s go into 24? So, write it as like a fraction. So, 24 divided by 2. Now, I'm going to use the bus stop method here to make it a bit easier. So, I'm going to do 24 here. And then 2 here. How many 2s go into 2? That will be 1 with 0 left over. How many 2s go into 4? That will be 2 with 0 left over. So, our final answer is equal to 12, guys. And that's how to do short division using the bus stop method. Okay. That was pretty quick, so I'll do, I'll do like another one here. So 48 divided by 3. So let's say I want to work, work this out. What method would I use? How would I approach it? So I'd use the bus stop method. Okay, it's called the bus stop method. Okay. You can, of course, just count up in threes until you reach 48. But the problem is, is, is as the numbers get larger and larger, that becomes more and more time consuming which is why the bus stop method obviously eliminates that so 48 okay and the divisor goes outside the bus stop how many threes go into four that'll be one with one left over how many threes go into 18 that'll be six so our answer is going to be 16 guys okay so i'd approach it using the bus stop method okay 48 divided by three Okay, remember writing the number as a fraction means a division. Okay, 43 thirds is the same as saying 48 divided by 3, guys. Okay, this next one, 72 divided by 4. Again, use the bus stop method to approach it. So 72 divided by 4. Fours into seven go once with three left over. Fours into thirty-two go eight times. So the answer is equal to eighteen. Okay. Alternatively, you, you could have halved it and then halved it again. That would also work. Okay, but make sure yeah, that you're careful with your division of twos. Okay. Half of it would be thirty-six and then half of thirty-six is equal to eighteen. Okay, how would I approach it? Using the bus stop method, so yeah, what was the method for these questions? It's the bus stop method. Here are some questions for you to try, guys. So, obviously, pause the video now, try the questions, and then come back and press play and check your answer or answers with me. Okay, so answers for these. So, 36 divided by 3. Again, using the bus stop method, okay, we're going to do, do this pretty swiftly. Okay, threes into three go once, threes into six go twice. So the answer is equal to 12. Okay, this next one, 55 divided by five. Fives into five go once, fives into five go once. So the answer is equal to 11, guys. This last one, I'm going to do 98 divided by two. Okay, hope you're happy that the answer will give you 49, but let's just obviously verify that. Because 100 divided by 2 is equal to 50, and if it's 2 less, that'll be 1 less down from 50. So 2s into 9 go 4 times, with 1 remainder. 2s into 18 go 9 times. So the answer becomes 49. Okay. And that's how to do the bus stop method.
Okay. Right, guys, that's the end of today's video, okay, on this lesson observation. Okay, hopefully it made sense. Okay, any questions, any queries, put it in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all inside the next video. Okay, bye for now. Take care, guys. All the very best. Okay, speak soon. Bye-bye for now. Okay, thank you for tuning in to this video lesson. Okay, speak soon. Bye for now.